Here I. What? Here I. When someone says what, generally you don't just say the same thing again. We're deaf. Hard of hearing, hard of hearing. I wasn't asking what you said. I was saying what, as in, ha. Huh? Huh? Huh. Well. 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 What were you saying? You said something. Oh. Here I. What? Here I. It's Welsh. It's a word without a direct translation into English. It means a uh, longing, something like home. Like nostalgia? Yeah, but not in the past, like a, a deep unspoken need, desire for your homeland. I see, poetic, yeah. Isn't Wales mostly hills? I think so. So it's a deep longing for hills, I guess. Poetic. I was thinking of it more of us. Us, a longing for home, but in terms of turning 30, longing for the days of being 20 and everything being open and, and in front of us. Mm. The world lay open and terrifying and amazing. Ambition was everything. We wanted to take risks, be artists, make our own success from our own words. Mm. That's nostalgia, huh? Nostalgia the past, not home. That's this here, here I, yeah, if you're feeling here I the, then you should be talking about Bristol. Hmm. But that's kind of nostalgic too, because it's your past. Maybe nostalgia and here I are interlinked. Sounds complex. I suppose you could long for the yellow stone of Queen Square and the cobbled streets of the harbour, the rocky slope of Park Street descending from the bustling triangle, all the way down to the domed glass sail eternally in flight over Cabot Circus. And more, the constantly changing independent shops on Gloucester Road, La Ruca with spinach tortillas hot from the press, slightly oily to the touch. Or walking across the downs when the grass is at its longest, just before it's cut. With dogs hustling through the waving stems as the travelling circus sets up nearby. Or across in Southville in one of the last remaining of the old tobacco factories, the lights dim in the theatre on the first floor. Fringe plays rattle out with inventiveness and charm. And more. The old houses with their towering designs next to new builds. Huge houses converted into chilly student flats and further out Tintersfield. Once rotting, now a National Trust property fully restored with a chapel that sings of adventures once lived. Who can quite summarize the feeling as you bump over the hill of the M32, the suspension bridge high, high above you on the left as you take the valley road diversion back past Bristol Zoo where Wendy the elephant once walked proud and down Black Boy Hill and White Ladies Road, turning at the Tesco's, past Joan and Alfred's and where Celia and Ron lived, missing Redland Church by a turning, swooping down towards the house where I walked and talked and read and thought for the first time where I tried tea and wine and 
watched her I Got News For You and Absolutely Fabulous on a Friday night and saw out Mina the Greyhound's final day as she died on the kitchen floor and Lola the dog's first days on the same kitchen floor as she learnt her new home. Now I can navigate these roads with my eyes half shut the familiar walls, the sense of it learnt in my bones. Any slight changes, any demolishing of a building could not impact on how well I navigate these streets, these cobbles, the towering piratical glamour of the Bristol Old Vic, the sweet quiet of the familiar back garden, with the swing seat and iced coffee in the bird bath on a hot summer's afternoon in July. Here I I suppose there's a need for it as a word seems so.